Good morning, St. Thomas More. <clears throat> and as we pray today, let's keep in mind and be thankful for the fact that we've gone through the fall season uh, without major injury, especially both football seasons, and congratulations to the boys in their championship. And today, uh, we're going to pray the prayer of St. Francis, which is my personal favorite. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have your seats, St. Thomas More. Okay, very quickly, I just want to say welcome back to the Kippy members. We're so happy to be here, back with the St. Thomas More family today on Monday. And I also want to just say uh, to all those who are invited tonight to the uh, academic awards evening. Uh, remember, you don't have to wear your uniform. We're just asking that you look nice and looking forward to a great evening. And for those of you who didn't make it, I really hope that you set it as your goal to make it next year. Uh, an 80 average can be achieved with consistent hard work uh, and, and consistent attendance. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful Monday here at school. Have a great day. Good morning, SDM. I am Felicia. Hello, I am Grace. We, we are, are from, from the SDM Diversity, Diversity Committee. Committee. This week is Bullying Awareness and Prevention Week. Bullying Awareness Prevention Week? What is bullying? Bullying is aggressive behavior that is typically repeated over time. It is meant to cause harm, fear, distress, or create a negative environment for another person. Bullying can come in the forms of physical, verbal, social, written, electronic, or cyberbullying. Where can bullying happen? Bullying can happen in school, at work, or at home. Bullying can happen anywhere. During a bullying situation, a person can either be a bystander or an upstander. Bystander, upstander, what is that, Felicia? A bystander is someone who watches someone get bullied and not take a stand. An upstander is someone who acts and stands up against bullying by telling them to stop and going to get help. Why, Why is, is it important, important to be an upstander? upstander? It is important to be an upstander because of how much bullying affects a person mentally, emotionally, and physically. It would take a lot of courage to be, to be an upstander, but you could be saving someone's life or even making them feel good about themselves. Why do people bully, Grace? There are many reasons why people bully. The main reason could be because they're insecure about themselves. Other reasons are wanting to control others and increase their social status, having low self-esteem, lacking feelings of guilt, and being blinded to see their actions. How can we report bullying? We can report bullying by telling an adult we trust and an adult we know that can help. You can tell your teacher, the chaplain, there's help, reach out. STM, the diversity committee will be having something happening throughout the week around bullying awareness and prevention week. Pay attention to see more announcement and our diversity Instagram page at stm.diversity for details. Thank you to all period one classes for participating in the flowers for the banner, messages of hope, to kick off Bullying Awareness and Prevention Week. Don't, Don't be, be a bully. bully. Be an, an upstander, upstander, not a bystander. bystander. Thank you, STM. Hey, STM. I'm Claire. And I'm Noah. And we're here on behalf of the STM Christmas Miracle Committee. The Christmas season is approaching quickly, and we need your help to make it a merry time of year for everyone in our community, especially those who are less fortunate. Today, members of the Christmas Miracle Committee will be distributing donations tins to each period one class. Classes can use the tins to collect donations leading up to a potential sponsorship of a child in our community. This year, a sponsorship gift will include a $40 gift card uh, and a hat with gloves. Voluntary class sponsorship sign up will take place on Friday, December 2nd. Individual staff or students can also choose to sign up for their own sponsorship on that day. Staff, please check your emails for more information. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Lauren. And I'm Michaela. And we're here to remind all senior boys football players that participating in the Christmas assembly routine that practices tomorrow after school in the forum. 
If you are unable to make this practice, please see Ms. Ryan in room 352. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Delina. And my name is Mary Paul. And these are your announcements for today. This is a reminder to the boys who made the third round cuts and the junior boys football team of the final tryout for the junior boys basketball team is tomorrow at 245. Members of the junior football team must bring their signed permission forms to the tryout. This is a reminder to all United Harmony Vocal Ensemble members. Please bring your signed chip forms with you to the rehearsal today after school in room 128. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. So wrestling season has officially begun. This past Friday, your STM wrestlers competed at Bishop Ryan for the first tournament of this season. There was teams from across Southern Ontario and Quebec. We brought 30 wrestlers and 15 of them medaled. We came away with four gold, four silver, and seven bronze. Our four gold medalists were rookies Victor Panov and Joshua Burt, and our senior boys, Tarek Anis, and Yusuf Al Udali, who had a really tough weight division, and he says he's only in grade 10, I don't know, but he dominated everybody. Um, honorable mention goes to grade nine, Joseph Pratt, who came fifth, who had probably one of the most exciting matches of the day against an, a BR wrestler, and I'm pretty confident I pulled a muscle coaching that match. So congratulations, team. Um, our team results, our girls placed fourth, our rookie boys placed second, and our senior boys placed first overall. Out of 22 teams, overall as a team, we placed second, narrowly missing first to uh, a, teams from, a team from Grins Grimsby called Bl Blessed Trinity. So it was an amazing first showing. We're really proud of all of you guys and how you did. Our team seems pretty good, but we're missing some key weight divisions. So if you are an 80 or 90 pound girl or boy, or a heavyweight, student council president is even thinking of maybe stepping on the mats. <laughs> Um, we could definitely use you on our team. So 80 or 90 pound girl, boy, heavyweight boy, girl, we need you. Um, anyways, we'll see everybody at practice today after school. Thanks. Good morning, STM. I'm Mason Jovenangeli, your student council president. And I'm Morella, your executive recording officer. And here are today's student council announcements for you. First off, we'd like to thank everyone that took part in Friday's pep rally. The band, cheer team, and even you, the students, came together to put on a 10 out of 10 pep rally which we really needed for this school. Congratulations to our junior boys football team for bringing home the gold that day as well. Listen up grade nine and tens. Today, Monday, November 21st is the last day for you to purchase your tickets to semi-formal, which will take place on Wednesday, November 23rd. You truly don't want to miss out on this experience. For some of you, it might be your first school dance opportunity, so make sure you go over to School Cash Online and purchase your ticket. Hey Morello, I heard that there's gonna be a candy bar there. Is that true? Yeah, it is true, Mason. And guess what else is gonna be there? What else? A photo booth where everyone takes some amazing pictures with their friends. No way. I'm so excited to go and I hope to see you there, Knights. Don't, for, uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council for updates and reminders. Thanks, STM. Have a great day. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.23. Have a great day.